Alright guys, welcome back to another video. And today, in this video, we were on the kayak out back at the uh, same lake that we fished in the last video. But today, the conditions were a lot different and the bass were pretty tricky to figure out. But um, So, basically, I put together in the video uh, how the day went on and how I figured out a pattern for the day and what worked best for me so hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned for the rest of the video alright so as you can see we started out throwing a variety of lures but I kinda cut out the most part of the fishing cause it was about maybe two hours or I take that back maybe like an hour worth of footage of um, me using other baits that did not do anything for the day but basically what we're doing right here or as what you guys are seeing is so I picked up the crankbait um, this was a 7 to 10 foot diver I believe and basically I just tried to find some deep water that um, I've marked with my graph before when I've been here and tried to fish that but unfortunately I was getting a ton of grass so it was pretty difficult to find those spots that were working, but uh, I managed to find a couple of them, and that's where I'm about to go to right here. So that last spot that you guys saw, um, or you might be seeing right now, uh, I fished that a lot because I um, had a lot of confidence in that spot because I knew it was deep and it had all the components to hold fish, but fortunately we did not get another bite there, so we just started to move around the lake uh, spot after spot and eventually we ended up here. <laughs> Alright, so that last fish that I just caught, um, I basically caught it the same way I did with that last one. I was just pulling the deep diving crankbait right along that grass edge, um, kind of letting it bounce off of some of the pieces of grass sticking up. But right here, I actually have a little one hit right under the boat, which that was pretty cool, but just a little guy.
Okay, so this fish right here was a completely unexpected catch. I mean, this one hit right into the boat as well, so I was pretty much in shock when that thing hit. And I really didn't know what to do as I was reeling it in, so just quickly reached for my net, pulled him up, and he actually ate it pretty good, so he started bleeding a little bit when I hooked him, but I was able to get him out fine and swam off just fine. Okay, um, we did fish today. Okay, guys, so I'm chicken nugget. Okay, guys, so just got back from off the water. Hey, guys, so we just got back from fishing, and I think I caught five bass in total. But today we dialed them in. Um, no, I didn't. More of a crankbait pattern. So I was using about a ten foot diving, like seven to ten foot diving crankbait. And that's what we were catching them all on. Well, I was. They didn't catch any. But he's, Miguel's behind the camera crying right now. <laughs> okay, no, why did you have to add? Oh, okay, don't do that. But, yeah, I, I don't know if you guys can hear me right now because it's kind of in, like, the case. I hope you can, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that video of crankbait fishing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. just turned off. Did it? No, it didn't. Oh. We go, what did you have to say about today? I didn't catch anything. What is that face? <laughs> I'm adding that.